I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 23rd of June, 2023, and this is your friend Angus Buchan with a thought for the day. If we go to the book of Philippians, chapter 3 and verse 10, Paul says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. Now, Paul had the privilege of meeting Jesus face to face on the road to Damascus when he was knocked off his horse and he was converted instantly. But he wasn't satisfied with that. He says, oh, that I might know him. Do you feel like that, my friend? I want to say to you personally, the best time of the day for me is early in the morning. In South Africa at the moment, we are going into the middle of winter. It's still dark early in the morning. I get up very early in the morning after Jill and I have prayed. I make a fire in our wood stove to warm up the house. I make her a nice hot cup of tea. And then I take my Bible and I go into my quiet time room. Oh, my dear friend, it's a precious time of the day for me. And I sit there and I speak to Jesus. I read the word of God and I worship him. The best time of the day. Oh, that I might know him. And that's how you get to know somebody, by spending special time with them. It's the sweetest time of the day. And then the power of his resurrection to realize that this master, this savior that I'm serving is not dead. No, no, no. He's very much alive. He has been resurrected. And then to have fellowship with his sufferings. You know, my biggest enemy is not the devil. It's Angus Buchan. And when we put that flesh down, then Jesus has precedence over our lives. Because you're a believer, that does not mean that you're not going to suffer. Of course you're going to suffer, like all the saints before. And then being conformed to his death. What does that mean? It means putting the flesh down and living for the Lord. And that's where freedom and joy and expectation comes from. And when I'm finished having my time with the Master... I go out and I face the world. I want to say to you today, be like Paul the Apostle and say, oh, that I might know him more. Know the power of his resurrection. Being prepared to suffer if need be for the faith and also putting the flesh down once and for all. You do that. And I want to tell you, it will revolutionize your life. Get up in the morning and spend the first hour or two of the day with the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.